Welcome everybody. I am Peter Bosch, a uh, distinguished engineer within Cisco and CTO for Cisco's application security program. I'll be talking a little bit about um, container security and, and API security as really two sides of the same security coin. And the way to think about this is that ultimately, if you're building your um, your application, your application runs in the cloud, of course, there's going to be a container stack. On top of that container stack, there's an application. And on top of that application, it's actually providing an API. So the way to think about API security is really uh, an integrated part of that container security stack. Specifically, I'll be talking about Panoptica, uh, Cisco's new product in this space, um, and API Clarity, uh, its open source component, um, uh, really covering uh, cases for API security. So how did we get here? Um, we started off um, back in the 80s and even before we're building applications uh, and applications were really application logic on top of libraries, on top of an operating system stack, and an networking stack integrated uh, on, on top of a bare metal service. Sure, we, we then introduced virtual machines, but, but, but as you're introducing virtual machines, basically what you're doing is you're picking up your entire application software stack and you're building that into your virtual machine, a process, if you will, that runs on, on bare metal services. On the right-hand side is how we uh, depicted how, on how we build our current applications. Rather than having one monolith, we have a completely decomposed application, and that application is, of course, running on bare metal services. You still have your, your same ARM processor or your x86 um, um, hosting your application, but on top, there's a virtual machine, a container, uh, application logic, and, and a service endpoint, an API endpoint, if you will. You can uh, um, uh, omit the virtual machine and run uh, the container natively on, on bare metal services with that same application logic and that uh, service endpoint. Or you can go in, uh, into things like serverless, low code, no code, and all of those types of things um, to support your application. Where, um, and, but, but in all cases, that application logic is really the top of the stack um, that implements uh, an API endpoint. So what we used to call, what we used to call remote procedure calls in the eighties and the nineties are now called API endpoints. But fundamentally, the problems of then percolate uh, to, to 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 today. We still have issues with authentication. We still have issues with authorization. We still have issues with poorly implemented code. So uh, when you're offering API security in, in inside your application, you really need to think about the poor code that sits on top of you that sits on top of your application stack in, and then really implement, is implemented by that application logic. And this, this diagram on the right really shows the, the integration of container security and uh, API security uh, when building, building a service. That in itself would not be um, a problem to begin with, but as we're now hosting our applications out in the open uh, cloud, and if this, 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 this little um, half circle uh, uh, represents the cloud, then really what we're doing is that we're using that wide open internet as a runtime for, for all modern apps. Instead of just having these, these very constrained environments for your application, now the application is being hosted inside a cloud that, that at best is, is protected by a virtual private cloud, um, possibly behind an API gateway. But at the end of the day, your application is really running out in the open internet. So for that, we introduced Panoptica. Uh, it's Cisco's um, application security portfolio. It's based on um, a well-renowned um, container security stack, um, um, uh, and it provides all of the functions that you need to uh, secure your workloads. Uh, it helps you understand where the CVEs are, the CWEs are. It helps you uh, manage um, uh, the, the artifacts that go into an application. It helps you understand the software bill of material the serverless functions that you're using, the uh, the issues with those serverless functions, and most importantly, the topic of this talk is about um, APIs. It helps you understand where uh, your uh, your APIs are uh, insecure as well. So Panoptica is really that integration of the entire uh, infrastructure. On the right hand side, I'm actually showing uh, a little diagram with um, the front end. Uh, it shows in this particular case the issues for the workload with with high vulnerabilities. And I must admit that this is a di this diagram is a little bit contrived because you really don't want to see this many uh, issues in your application. It's really a front end to the demo application. 
rest assured, this is a real product. It's being used in, in production environments. Uh, and on the, on the last slide, I will actually show how to get access to, to Panoptica as a home. It will provide you with understanding the risks, but it will also help you understand, uh, manage those risks through uh, the MITRE attack framework that we've molded into the solution. It's called KH Shield. There's a little button here that one can press. And with that um, KH Shield, you can um, uh, go through all of the vulnerabilities that have been found holistically in the application and then repair them in one go. And lastly, one can define a series of policies um, um, to, to, to map. Sorry, to manage those risks. This topic, the topic of this uh, of this this presentation is about APIs. So I'm, I'm going to be focusing very specifically on APIs. Um, and basically, we asked ourselves four categories of of, of questions. Often, um, when you're building your application, you don't even know what APIs you're using in your in internal environment. So the key requirement to the solution that we've put together is this: to understand what APIs you're using from north-south traffic, so traffic through an API gateway, but also for east-west traffic and for consumed APIs. I'm calling out to, to a third-party service. What, do we can, well, what can we say about those third-party services? Are those, uh, are those compliant with my, uh, with my compliancy rules? Are they geofenced? And then what APIs uh, uh, am I using? Are those, are those deprecated? Are those insecure? Do, they have a, do these have a terrible uptime? Do they have bro broken implementations or infrastructure? Or um, can I actually say something about all of the APIs that I'm using in my app, uh, in my applications, and multiply this across, across thousands of apps or tens of th tens of thousands of API endpoints? Is that something that I can automate? So for this, as part of Panoptica, we developed API Clarity uh, with a link here, APIClarity.io, gets you to this, and it's really the the guts of of um, Panoptica's API security story. It really helps you understand. Um, the, the key issues for um, APIs in your application. It deploys uh, kind of frictionless in your uh, in your environment. Uh, you don't need code changes to uh, to your application. It automatically reconstructs open API specifications by observing API traffic. It helps you understand where there are changes in your uh, in your APIs as you go through daily releases. Um, and it track, tracks deltas over time, and mostly uh, because we would like to understand where zombie APIs and shadow APIs are uh, are offered. Zombie and shadow APIs um, are, are cases where um, the zombie um, is is uh, is a is a leftover of, of an earlier implementation. The shadow is an intentionally leftover API endpoint, so that um, um, one can manage the application. If hackers find these, these are um, uh, prime attack vectors for, for getting into your application. Secondly, uh, we, we provide for uh, a fuzzer and a tester to, uh, based on Microsoft Wrestler to, to uh, understand the, um, the quality of the APIs. Uh, can, we, can we find uh, bugs in the applications? Can we break the applications and whatnot? And more, moreover, by, by um, Tracing those those uh, tracing those applications in real life will actually find issues that we can then test with our fuzzer. And of course, everything needs to be visual um, to to better understand what the uh, application is doing. So on this slide, I'm sharing uh, I'm sharing uh, what that dashboard looks like in API Clarity. On the left hand side, it shows what what APIs are being used in in, in a container application. At the bottom, it shows which um, zombie APIs and shadow APIs we found, and on the right hand side it shows um, how often these are uh, these are used. But having clarity on the uh, on the API specification is just the first step. What you really would like to be able to do is analyze the specification and find all of the issues in those uh, in those specifications. There's a list of best practices uh, for for those specifications, and you really would like to understand where. Uh, security primitives are, are not set, where um, array lengths are not, have not been uh, properly uh, tested, uh, where um, uh, authentication bits are not properly um, provided to the application, and you'd like to make sure that the actual underlying implementation, the, soft, the software that implements the API, is properly built. And lastly, um, but not in, un, unimportantly, you would like to be able to generate client and server code. It's meant for dev developers, SRE and SecOps, uh, in, uh, in in one go, of course, this is an open source package that developers can can integrate into the solution. But by having 
an opti uh, having API Clarity directly into Panoptica, it also allows you to uh, test this right out of the box for, for, for your environments. So for this, we actually provide uh, a number of handles to, for, for, for you to try API Clarity, um, uh, to, to try another open source package called QBA or QClarity. Um, it also allows you to try Panoptica, the product. Uh, there's a, a product like growth solution out there that is free of charge. You can use it um, uh, in a minimal environment. And of course, um, you, you, you can sign up for, for uh, an actual enterprise offer. You can become Cisco's design partner. Um, the link is here. And of course, Cisco is providing a series of tech logs for um, the solution. Um, I know this was a short presentation. It was kind of wetting the appetites. Um, there's uh, much more to, to uh, API Clarity, um, um, Cube Clarity, uh, and, uh, and all of the other clarities, and of course, Panoptica. I, and I invite you all to, to engage with, with us and, and um, uh, test um, uh, Panoptica, share with us your, your, your results and, and share with us where we um, omit it um, or, or why we're lacking in, in our solution. Thank you very much and have a great day.